Hey you and welcome to my channel. My name is Tina and my aim is to improve your drawings just like others have done for me when I just started out. In today's video I'm taking a closer look at the pastel pencils from Brunzel. So whenever I do a review about pencils I love to use only these pencils for a certain project to get a better feel for them. It was also very useful for this brand since I don't use these pencils frequently. Now the project for the pastel pencils from Brunzel was a Black Panther I uploaded last week. I did use pan pastels for the underlayer, but only the pencils from Brunzel for my details. Make sure to check out that video if you haven't seen that one yet. If you try and search for Brunzel, you won't find the brand. They are actually a range of products from the brand Royal Talents. If you are into painting, you might know them from their painting branches, which are a little bit more known. I'm talking about Amsterdam Acrylics and Rembrandt, which produces oil paints and also soft pastels. But enough chit chat, let's just get started with my first category and that is packaging and presentation. In total they have 48 colors available for purchase. You have the option to buy them in sets of 12, 24 and 48 and you also have the option to buy these open stock. I was quite surprised with this since the pencils are more on the cheaper side. Or so I thought, but more on that later. Now having the option to buy them open stock is a big plus for these pencils. I mostly rebuy the same pencils again and again, so imagine having to buy a set over and over again just for a few colors. Now the packaging itself is one of the best I have ever seen. It's a very sturdy box designed with foam to hold each individual pencil safe. This already makes the shipping trip much safer to your doorstep and serves as a good storage box if you don't have something for yourself. The pencil itself has a wooden casing with the matching color shown at the tip. They don't have a big core inside, making them slim pencils. I personally like this, but this is of course very personal preference. Other than that, you'll also find the word design on the pencils, right here, which is just because they come from their design series. This is a series more tailored to the professional artist. And then there is the part where they coated the pencil translucent white, right here, and it says pastel on there. Like I said, they are from the design series, which also has colored pencils, aquarelle or watercolor pencils, and a few others. These pencils all have a similar look with the wooden barrel, but they all have this coating with the type on it. Now, for example, the colored pencils have an orange coating on them. On the colored part of the pencil, you'll find a number right here. This is a number corresponding to the pigment name. You can find the color name either by looking on the back side of your packaging or on their website. This way ordering one color becomes very easy. Packaging and presentation is definitely not a big thing to consider when buying a pencil or a set, but I like to be thorough so I always add it to my list. So for starters I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. Moving on to the second category and an important one for me, their color, range and light fastness. Like I already mentioned they only have 48 colors available which is a very low amount especially if you compare them to other brands. Now the color range is more important than the amount of color, so let's have a look at that. There is one thing that really stands out and that is the amount of blues in them. There isn't even that much pure green in them since they lean more to turquoise. Now looking at this range from someone who loves to create realistic animal pieces, I have to say that I was a little disappointed. They do have some beautiful browns and greys, but there just aren't a lot of them, not even in their biggest set. So for me this is not such a suitable range for the drawings that I make. Moving on to the second part of this category and that is the light fastness. I searched high and low but I could not find any official information about their light fastness. Some art stores online did refer to them as highly light fast but I didn't find anything that could back this claim. Since other brands use this as a selling point I'm assuming this can't be the case for the Bruinsales. As such I personally would not rate them high on a rating scale. I think that the range and light fastness is very important and my findings on these topics were definitely not good, so I'll give them a 1 out of 5. Next up, their visual appeal and performance. This is the most important category for me. How do these pencils look on paper and how do they perform? Honestly, the pencils did surprise me in a good way when it came to the vibrancy of the colors. Because for a pencil where the light fastness is unknown, they did disperse a lot of pigment. Now, the colors in general were very vibrant and strong. For example, if you look at the highlight in the eye of the Black Panther, you can see how the white pops. Now, I do have to add that I try to leave my paper blank when I want my white to be really white. 
Nonetheless, there was some white on the top of the other colors and the vibrancy of the white really took me by surprise. Now, when it comes to sharpening, you might run into some issues with these pencils. This is almost always the case with pastel pencils that have a soft core. So I would not advise to sharpen these pencils with a crank handler, but use a pencil peeler or a Stanley knife instead. Now I just said that they have a softer core. In general, I like my pencils more on the soft side. This makes blending way easier and also tends to make drawings look softer. But the Bruinsdale pastel pencils were a little too soft for my liking. This is a delicate balance and I might be a little harsh on the pencils, but I have used quite some brands by now and this one just doesn't feel as good as the others. All in all, I did not hate to work with these pencils, but I didn't love to work with them either. All things considered, I'll give them a 3 out of 5. And for my final category, let's talk money and value. Last week, I might have mentioned that these pencils were very affordable. This is the case for me. I'm from Belgium and Royal Talents originally is a Dutch company. So I have quite a few options to buy them and I have found the biggest set, the 48 one, for only 51 euros. This led me to believe that they were quite cheap. So I was quite surprised when I found them on Jackson's for the price of 91 euros. I know Jackson's isn't the cheapest, but they have a big collection of art supplies and they are also able to ship to loads of places, making them a good art store. Either way, they are almost two times as expensive and I don't think that they are worth it. Now for good measure, let's have a look at the price open stock on Jackson's. You'll be able to buy these pencils for 2 euros 16 each. Just to give you a quick comparison, you can buy Carbotello Stabilo for only 1 euro 80. Honestly, the pencils from Burnsdale are just too expensive in my opinion. Maybe if you could get them around the price that I paid for it, it would be different. But even for that price, I would still suggest to pay a little bit more and get the Carbotellos. Now, not only is the price way more than I thought in terms of value for your money, there really isn't that much value if I take all things considered. At the start of this video, I thought they would score really good in this category, but as it turns out, I'll only give them a 1 out of 5. Now for my conclusion. These pencils were definitely not one of my favorites. I try to always say something positive, so in this case, it's the following. If you love ocean scenes and skies, then the Bruinsdale pastel pencils have amazing blues for you. Plus, the colors do look beautiful on paper. But that pretty much says it all for these pencils. I think they are too soft, making them difficult to sharpen, as well as making it difficult to get down smooth, hard lines on your paper. I also wasn't too keen on their color range, and when it comes to their light fastness, there isn't anything known about these pencils. For some people, this could be okay, but if you are doing pet portraits, I think you'd prefer if you were able to mention that you work with durable materials. So for their final score, I'm going to give them only 1 out of 5. I think this is my worst score so far and it might seem a bit harsh, but I'm just trying to give you my honest opinion. If it hadn't been for their lack of rating, they would have gotten a 2 from me though. Now just as a footnote, these are all my personal opinions and keep in mind that I'm talking about what I'm looking for as a realistic animal artist. If you find this review helpful or if there is anything else in particular you'd like me to do a review on, just let me know in the comments below and as always, your input is highly appreciated. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and I also have a lot of other videos on my channel that might interest you, so definitely check them out. Next Friday I'll be back with another video, see you then and in the meantime I hope you have a great week.